time to take a moment and step away from the newscast to talk about the news. As a person in the business and a lifelong student of the business and a viewer, I would agree with this statement. We have never been at a point in time when we desired as much information as we could possibly get about really important things. At the same time, we're being inundated with information like never before, good and bad. It's like working in a switching yard for bullet trains, and nothing is slowing down. It's all coming in so fast, heading out faster. From Antifa to antibodies, presidential campaigns to Confederate statues, and protests, coronavirus vaccines, not to mention the day-to-day -day stuff. What should we care about? What's important? All of it. But more so, you should care about how you're getting it, how you're taking it in. No one train is going to take you everywhere you want to go. Don't rely on one source of information. If you want to go east, west, north, or south, you'll need to get on a different train every once in a while to complete the journey. So skewed is some of the information that we're getting from various news outlets. A producer at a cable network resigned and in an open letter recounted a story, a conversation she had with a network executive saying, we are a cancer and there's no cure. Adding a successful and insightful TV veteran said, but if you could find a cure, it would change the world. Think of that. At one point suggesting they choose to go with a story on the politics of COVID-19 over one on scientific information. The information we're all looking for right now. It happens all the time. It happens on all of them. It's impossible to watch, read, or listen to all of it, let alone comprehend it. I'm not even including static from social media. We have to be willing to listen to the conversations on both sides and make our own conclusions. Keep in mind, if it's not a conversation, then it's a lecture. And that means you're being told what to think. That's not who we are in this country. We think for ourselves and have to take it upon ourselves to listen to that science and this science, those politicians and these politicians. And when they get it, that that's what we're doing, maybe they'll take a moment and listen to the conversations we're having. Cancers can be cured.